<sighs> Come on! You can do better than that! But... They're mere peasants. Driven to this by starvation, pain, and suffering. How can we just... Well, if you're that soft, you won't be able to keep the vow you just made. Indeed. Hmm. Now that we are sworn brothers, you need greater strength of spirit. Yes, you are right. We are unified in intent and in life. With our might and our honor, we shall end this chaos. Let us go, my sworn brothers. I know nothing of heaven. Nor do I wish to cut you down. Or hurt your people. <laughs> Causing discord is a crime. But the human heart can both forgive and atone for such acts. You preach the way of peace. Cast aside violence, and lead the people with your heart. Oh, my lord! You are a great man indeed. I see now that I am meant to follow your teachings. Oh, yes. Oh, I never thought of it like that. Ha! How naive! No. This is the way. Look at the happy faces of the people. Wow! That's Thank great! That's Wonderful! So well, you might be right. Ha! Our sworn brother has taken the first step on his long journey. How awful. And I thought the yellow turbans were bad. If I'd gotten in the way, those monsters would have cut me down too. <laughs> Brother. Do not lose heart. Our battle was based on honorable principles. That's right. If we don't stop these rampaging fools, then there'll never be an end to it. That may be so. But nonetheless, it pains me to see such fear and suffering. <sighs> Look, once the yellow turbans calm down a little, the people will be much better off. Hmm. However, the true cause of the people's pain is still around. Yes. I believe that this is just the beginning. Hmm. 
Pathetic. He's pretty good. I am here to help. My lord, we cannot allow your light to be extinguished here. That's right. We must combine our strength and defeat this raging monster. <laughs> Entertain me if you can. Finally got you. Now, prepare yourself. So you finally got me, have you? Good. Good for you. I seem to have given you quite some trouble already. Can you manage another push? Oh. Is this where I tell you to prepare yourselves? No way! There's still this many of them? Young Fei, get our brother out of here! Huh? You'll never make it! I'll help! No! Take our brother and go! Quickly! Guan Yu! I will see you again. Go. Now. Well, well. You're real trouble, aren't you? It can't be helped. I shall withdraw before things get too serious. Brother! Mm -hmm. I'm glad you are safe. Oh. Mm. oh! I'm glad to see you. How did you survive? I have been in Shu province, lending my life briefly to Lord Tsao Tsao, and doing some tasks for him, to repay the mercy he showed me. It goes against my honor to have fought for one other than my sworn brother, and I ask forgiveness. Please. <laughs> Come on, you can do better than that. But they're mere peasants, driven to this by starvation, pain, and suffering. How can we just... Well, if you're that soft... You won't be able to keep the vow you just made. Indeed. Hmm. Now that we are sworn brothers, you need greater strength of spirit. Yes, you are right. We are unified. In intent, and in life, with our might, and our honor, we shall end this chaos. Let us go, my sworn brothers.
If you buy children, you believe that will bring back your lost heaven, perhaps? Ah, uh, well, not necessarily. I have heard, actually, talk of a wise man in these parts, known as the Sleeping Dragon. Is that you? Actually, no. Please, speak plainly. Just as you say, I do indeed require a strategist. Then... you wish to meet this man? Yes, very much. Then... you must do as I say. We will break through this formation. Then I will lead you to the Sleeping Dragon. So you are he, the famous Sleeping Dragon. I am... Yes, I know of you, Master Liu Bei. I feel I have been led to this land in order to meet with you. Please, would you consider lending your strength to my endeavors? Very well. Then, my lord, I must ask that you proceed through this age of chaos as a man of benevolence. Benevolence? Yes. Benevolence is the true form of your intent. The light that spreads your brilliance across the land. Are you sure this is what you want? Yes. It is not me whom he needs at this time. Show him the path of benevolence, my lord. And lead him through the dangers of war. You are the only one who can do that. I wish I could be like you, you know? But it is simply beyond me. Where will you go? Where, you ask? to find a place for myself. He is in your hands now. So you are Master Zhuge Liang? The famed strategist. Master Zhou Yu. All is as I outlined in the scroll I sent you. Oh, so formal. We are to talk of fighting together. We must be more open. Isn't that right, my lord? <laughs> exactly right, Lu Su. I read your scroll. A proposal that will certainly be of benefit to both yourselves, and to us. Blunt Cao Cao's momentum, and buy us some time. Advantageous to us all. But, that is not the entire story. Unlike Wu, Master Liu Bei lacks a land which he can call his own. Perhaps obtaining such a foothold is your true goal. Come now. We cannot expect all secrets to be shared. Can we not turn a blind eye? 
Well, this alliance would certainly be good for Wu. The battle shall take place at Chirbi. We shall use our intellect and courage to sink Cao Cao's great fleet. Zhou Yu is a perceptive man. I wonder how much he sees of the truth behind this alliance. But, for now, this is the only path we can take. We must claim victory here first, before all else. These flames shall be the beacons to light your way. We must move on, my lord. The next battle has already begun. What? You're leaving already? My apologies, my lady. I am sure we shall meet again. My lord. Ah, Shu Shu. That day, when we first fought together, and now, seeing the battlefield from Wei's encampment, I realized that I have been lying to myself. The place I should be is here. I am no master of strategy, I fear. I am quite naive, in fact. Yet... Make use of me, my lord. I, too, wish to light your way to glory. Well said. I have been waiting for you. From today, you walk with me. Master Liu Zhong, 
I'm... Don't go feeling sorry for him. Hmm? <laughs> Listen carefully. The people are happy to be your subjects. A benevolent man would go to them. Tang Tong! Uh, the battle went well, at least. But as for myself, it looks like I misread the remainder of my life. But if you were injured, <laughs> why didn't you say? Let me take this chance to speak. There are times when it can be best to hide your true face. No matter what happens, you must keep showing the people a benevolent visage. Enough. I understand. Say no more. Yes. This is my final lecture. Fly high, my lord, to the very top. Let them go. <clears throat> what do you mean, let them go? Giving chase now will only play into their hands. Huh? <sighs> exactly. Well, we'll be going then. Yes. It is time. Huh? Hold on. Go where? <laughs> Just a little trip to Fawn Castle. The enemy are scouting frequently. Their main force will attack soon. So they let us take the castle before surrounding us. Have we just been dancing to their tune? This never-ending rain, too. They surely plan to make use of it. It's okay. We can win. So long as we all fight. Together. I have shared my brother's ambition. And now, I have seen my children grow so strong. Though I have lived through chaos, what a full and satisfied life it has been. Father? Is something the matter? My children. Your era. A new land of benevolence lies before us. Now, your honor and courage will be needed more than ever. Oh, good. <clears throat> I made it in time. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm? Shu Shu, what brings you to Fawn Castle? A plan, my lord. I have a way out of this peril. Comrades, you have fought well and seen off our foe. Let out a victory cry. The land has been shown the honor of our cause. Finally, the ultimate battle with Cao Cao awaits. Still, what will Wu do next? Things are becoming more complicated. With our strength of spirit, we can overcome any peril. We will keep winning, all of us, <clears throat> along with our father. <laughs> yes. Yes. Zhuge Liang, Hong Tong, our strategy has worked. The triangle has lost its balance, and the battle with Wei and Wu will intensify. But, for now, let us just celebrate this victory. I can only hope that our Lord can hear our victory cry. God of War. <laughs> but you are finished. Taking your head will mean far more than Jing Province. <sighs> Father. to me. Sorry, my son. I have said my goodbyes. Yes. Tell my brother that I am sorry. Yes. Father, wait! Be strong. My daughter. Go! My children! His face is so tranquil. His soul has been passed on to the next generation. Impressive indeed, God of War. Like I said, you aren't ready for war. Go back to the camp. I have experience in battle. Tell me, why do you seek to stop me? Guan Xing, letting you loose out there would only put you at risk. I am no longer a child. 
cannot afford to be. Leave him be. He has proven his worth in battle. His desire to avenge his father is identical to your own. However, the fact that the two of you are fighting each other shows that you still have much to learn. Follow me, both of you, for vengeance! I am Zhong Wei! So long as I stand, this land shall never fall! You look competent with that spear. Come, I will see just how good you really are. You have no fear. I shall defeat him. No. I want him alive. <laughs> As you wish. Is that understood? That man. We must capture him alive. Why do you toy with me? You seek to shame me further? Do it! Kill me! <laughs> My apologies. <sighs> but... This was the only way I could talk with you. Young man, I wish for you to join us. I greatly desire the aid of your intellect. I finally understand our strategist's intent. Indeed, you have displayed exemplary courage. I too ask that you fight alongside us. Silence! You ensnare me and now talk of standing together? I... I am an officer of Wei! Your fellow officers have run off without you. <sighs> we have distressed you, for which we apologize. We simply desired your help so much. Please, will you aid us in the creation of a land of benevolence? How strange this is. Your words have quieted my heart. Lead me to your camp. I will follow. Chancellor.
This defeat has damaged the Northern Campaign. The fault lies entirely with me. I am the one who put you in charge. If the fault lies with anyone, it is with me. No! Good work must be rewarded and failure punished. Chancellor, please make your just pronouncement. <sighs> My lord! During this battle, we defeated Zhang He. That was only possible because he was so fixated on Ma Su. Which means that was thanks to Ma Su. If anything, he should probably be rewarded. Sophistry, nothing more! But it would be benevolent. Don't you agree, Chancellor? Get back to camp. I'm feeling a bit. Uh oh. <laughs> Brother! Oh. <laughs> it must have been that ambush. Save your energy. No. I can't die here. Brother. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't... <laughs> I leave the rest to you. My sworn brother. Everything rests on this battle. For the sake of those lives lost in battle, and for those lives yet to be born, Benevolence will end this age of war. <coughs> Chancellor! <coughs> I am fine. Come, let us begin. I am relying very much upon the strength of the next generation. now it is our task to put an end to this chaos you are finished sumayi your cunning has been bettered the next generation belongs to us
<laughs> Imbecile! You don't see, do you? You can have this battle. But... Victory is mine. What? Can you walk it? The path to rule... With no guide. <sighs> hmm? <sighs> no! Chancellor, we have to go on without you? <sighs> hey, you take care out there. Same to you, sis. You might have your own forces now, but you're still... I can fight. There's no need to worry about me. I promise. So you say. But I'm still worried. Brother. What's up, little sis? You can stay behind me if you're scared. I'll be fine. Yes. Of course you will. Still, something is strange here. Setting up their forces at Luko. It's almost as though they are expecting us. The commander at Lu Ko is Lu Su. This battle will be merely one part of his grand design. All of you, approach this battle with due care. Most impressive. You are as good as I had heard. Your youngsters have proven themselves too. This battle, what was its intent, Lu Su? Well, I wanted to prove your strength. To my fellows in Wu, of course. Opinions vary, even within Wu. Some are scared of Shu, and call for your defeat. However, for the sake of our Lord's ambitions, we need to reform our alliance. And yet, at Fawn Castle... Wu would have been rent asunder. We had no other choice. With this defeat, I shall be able to persuade the others in Wu. What do you say? Do we have a deal? Very well. We too would welcome an alliance between Shu and Wu. <clears throat> Kind of you to offer. Mind if we leave it attached to your body, though? What? What do you mean? Come to Shu is what he means. We have all gathered here, drawn by our Lord's vision. You come true! My life! 
as an officer of Wade, has hereby come to an end. My new life belongs to you. I underestimated my foe. Watch it! You're here. I have let you down again. My inexperience is showing through. Inexperience? <laughs> Your only problem is that you try to do everything alone. You can rely on us. It's the only way to become truly great. I see. Then come. Stand by me. Raise a victory cry! Woo! Our next battle will be our last. This land will be ruled by benevolence. Let us end this turmoil by our own hands. There's something to be said for watching the young ones, isn't there? Our dreams have been nurtured and passed on. That is the proper state of things. If possible, I would have wished to leave them a world free from war. That lies right before them. Once Cao Cao is defeated, this chaos will come to an end. Let us show the children yet to be born a safe and peaceful future. We've made it this far, brother. Yes, just one more step and we're there. Our final enemy was always to be Lord Cao Cao. Yes, indeed. He is the root cause of this chaos. I am happy, my brothers. Huh? What's brought this on? Happy that the three of us are heading into this age together. We have fulfilled our vow of that day. Huh. Maybe once we've won this battle. Indeed. Come then. Let us strike out into the era that lies beyond this chaos. Yeah. <sighs> you win, Liu Bei. Yes, I do. Long have you stood in my way. You think benevolence can lead the people? People must be shown reason and kept in check by strength. You might be right. 
However, I still believe in the potential of the people. Hmm. In that case, do what you will. Farewell, Liu Bei. Farewell, Cao Cao. The wind has begun to blow. Ah, uh, the flagpole. Hmm? What's the matter, Hong Dong? Nothing. Well, the flagpole just broke in the wind. It doesn't seem like a good omen. <laughs> You're surprisingly sensitive. Quite unlike the side of yourself you show in battle. There's no need to worry. The wind can blow as fast as it likes. All we have to do is run through the enemy even faster. Right, brother? That's right. We shall become the gale that shreds Liu Biao. It'll be fine. You can count on my father and my brothers. Yes. Well, if you all say so. We do. I'm expecting big things from you too, Honda. Ah! Tigers of Suit, show the enemy your terrible claws! Lord Huang Zhu! No! I knew it! The wind today! No! Father, you can't die! You'll be fine, my dear. You don't need me around anymore. My son. You must now lead the house of Sun. Wait, father! We aren't ready yet! The future belongs to the young. My children. Make... Make it your own. Today. No! Father, you can't die! Ah. 
Don't kill me off so quickly. Father! I can't believe this thing saved my life. The Imperial Seal you found at Loy Young? Still, I got carried away and let my guard down. Perhaps I am getting old. Here! Soon Jan died here this day. You must now lead the house of Soon. Wait, what are you talking about? The future belongs to the young. Run freely and make it your own. Done it, my lord. Hmm? Oh. Oh. Master Liu Yao, my apologies. As a warrior and as a man. I wish to live a just and true life. So, from this day, my life is yours, Master Sun Tzu. <laughs> Thank you, Tai Shi Tzu. Look, my lord. This is your land. And these are your men. Yes. I finally feel it. I stand as the head of the House of Sun. The land is in turmoil. To be honest, I've no idea what'll happen next. But, with your help, I'm going to do everything I can to make it right! Let's go! The House of Wu stands proudly in Jiangdong, and we are its people! Yeah! yeah! Got away. No meat for us tonight, Zhou Yu. Huh? Zhou Yu? Hey, Chuan! Zhou Tai! Where have they gone to? Soon, sir. Huh? You have taken Wu Jun. And call yourself the Little Conqueror? Xu Gong? And... Who are you? Look back on the path you have walked. One twisted by power. The cries of hatred and flames of anger shall now become a vortex. Suck down into it. You shall meet your end here. Hey, what are you talking about? Huh? <sighs> 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 <sighs>
you. Are you Shu Gong's men? Mother! Forgive us. We got held up by some sort of sorcerer. Yeah, same thing happened to me. I'm not sure what's going on, but for now, we just need to get out of here. You plan on killing me, do you? Very well. But I'll take you with me! You will walk the path of the Conqueror and clash with Lord Cao Cao. Don't you see? The more men of your caliber step forward, the worse this chaos will become. Shut your mouth! <sighs> all I have to do is defeat them all! You fool. Ganji. I leave the rest to you. Very well. Your revulsion for this time of war is perfectly clear to me. Now die, dogs of chaos. Okay, we made it out of there somehow. Still, I can't believe that Shu Gong was in league with Cao Cao. He claimed our lord was walking the path of a conqueror. Ridiculous. Trying to sell out my brother, and even hiring some pathetic conjurer of tricks. It was Ganji, wasn't it? Sun Tzu! I wouldn't call them tricks, exactly. Chuan! Father entrusted our family's legacy to me. Now, it's my turn to entrust it to you. What are you talking about? Brother! <clears throat> It's all yours now. <sighs> you would go so far just to keep your little conqueror alive? Such power will only spread further conflict, eventually sundering the very- Silence! Enough of your mad ravings. We need my brother. <clears throat> you arrogant fools, content to spread further chaos. <laughs> what? Another trick? Maybe. But the evil presence I sensed from him has dissipated. I see. So his very existence was a curse. And now that he is gone, Sun Tzu is likely saved. Come everyone, let us return to him. Sorry, Dachiao. I guess I scared you. You really did! I'm just glad you're okay. <laughs> Brother, now you can lead us into battle once more. I don't think so. I'm still too weak. 
And didn't I already give my speech about handing things over to you? But brother! Sorry. Let me get some more sleep. Zhou Yu, take care of Chuan for me. <laughs> Looks like we have no choice. Now, we can only hope things go as planned. But do you trust them, Lu Su? Yes. Although, Zhuge Liang is an impossible man to read entirely. Then I shall believe also in you and in your faith in Yu Bei. Still, to wait for the wind to turn, then attack with fire from the water. A bold gamble indeed. Hey, you two! Huh? Has the War Council finished already? You were conferring with the forces of Liu Bei, right? Correct. Although, they only sent their strategist, Zhuge Liang. Oh, really? I was looking forward to finding out what kind of man Liu Bei is. This completes our capture of Yiling. Now we can... Uh, 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 My lord! Uh, you swine! Uh, remain calm, Lu Mong. A good commander can turn any situation to his advantage. I myself shall be the bait. When they come for me, strike back. Very well. Leave it to us. My lord. Yes. We must make haste. I have been vested. Commander, your strategies were magnificent. It is finished, my lord. Yes. Now all of Jing Province is... My lord! <laughs> Xiang Yang has been taken by Guan Yu of Liu Bei's forces! What? Uh, my, my lord! My wound led me to panic. And I lost sight of the bigger picture. History shall remember this mistake. Lu Su, you understand the framework of my plan to divide the land in two? I do. Then, you must complete it. Uh, uh, what do you uh, mean? Uh, now I know how Sun Tzu felt. Uh, 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 who knew that having someone to entrust things to uh, would feel quite so good? Uh, lead Wu to victory. Uh, my, my lord! lord! You have fought with...
courage and wisdom. But Jing Province has been entrusted to my care. I cannot back down. <clears throat> Regardless of the intent of Master Liu Bei, I have discretion in such matters. Very well. Further fighting between us will benefit only Cao Cao. I must have you vow two things, however. First, that you will respect the alliance between Wu and Shu. Second, that you will use the land of Jing province to oppose Cao Cao. Mm. Very well. I swear on my honor. Good. Then let us both withdraw our troops from this battle. Master Lu Su, you surely could have killed Guan Yu. Why didn't you finish him? <laughs> Face down that monster? Do you wish me dead, Lu Meng? Uh, of course not. Come, we have preparations to make. It can't be long before Cao Cao starts moving again. Lu Meng. Yes. Your instinct to kill Guan Yu was not necessarily wrong. But you also need to learn to pull back when necessary and manipulate your enemies. You are too guileless. I see. Although your honesty has made you who you are. Learn all you can every day. Support the future of Wu. Yes. Surpass me. And even one day, Master Zhou Yu. Master Lu Su, I fear your meaning. My lord, are you sure about this? I know we are in an alliance, but this attack on Hefei... ...is entirely to their benefit, I know. They probably have their sights set on Han Zhong. It does not matter. If we must include Liu Bei in order to destabilize Cao Cao, then so be it. I see. Give and take, as they say. Though, I must admit, I don't like the fact that we are doing the giving first. <laughs> Just so long as we can call in the favor later. Ha! Who cares about the details? Just point me at the fighting and let me charge into the fray. Ha! You hothead. How about trying to use that brain of yours for once? Actually, Gan Ning makes a good point. The enemy defense is being led by Zhang Liao himself. Both determination and focus will be required to win. Hmm. True enough. It will take the full might of Wu to achieve victory. If you gentlemen are so determined to show your strength, then please allow Lu Su and I to display our intellect. Ah, Master Zhou Yu. Are you feeling better? Yes, thanks for your concern. We have compiled a detailed analysis of the enemy formations and terrain. Gan Ning, Ling Tong, listen carefully. Just charging in will get you nowhere. Hey, don't lump me in with him. 
<laughs> Come, this is it. We must show the world the courage and brilliance of the men of Wu. Humiliation. How could this have happened? I'll tell you how, shall I? We fight for more than just ourselves. My father, my brother, they led us here. And we must strive to surpass them. Three generations of Wu wisdom and courage gathered under you. Then I must simply seek to overcome that too. For now, I praise your brilliance. Hey! You can't get away! Leave him! <sighs> this battle is over. We will face him again soon enough. A most impressive victory, my lord. Yes, Zhou Yu. You are the one who led us to it. My father and brother have returned to us too. I don't think I have ever felt quite so happy in battle. Wait. Was my brother not with you? I'm sure he will be here soon. But, my lord... This victory belongs not to your brother. Or to your father. But to you. Everyone is waiting to hear you speak. My comrades, you have fought well. Let out a shout of victory. This day belongs to Wu! My lord! <clears throat> Thank goodness you're safe. Mm. All thanks to you. I'm glad to see you all here. I can't believe it! They were all over us! Well, if a certain someone had acted with a little more intelligence... What? I just wish we had a second chance. I know we're all capable of better. Calm down, both of you. We may have been defeated today, but the conflict continues. You have survived to fight another day. If you behave like this, those who have fallen today will find no peace. Yes. Lu Meng is right. We have come this far at the cost of many of our comrades' lives. We cannot ignore that fact. We must move on. And we must become stronger still. Taking the dreams of the Fallen with us, we shall prevail against this chaos! Idiot! What? Shut up. You're the one making the noise. Those bells! This is a surprise attack. In case you've forgotten, it's every little thing with you, isn't it? And you don't worry about anything! Why am I stuck with you? <gasps> Good enough! Both of you! This is our chance for revenge for Hufei. It's no time to be bickering like children. Calm down. I'm not the one who needs to calm down here. Uh, actually, your voice is a little loud. Yes, yes. Attack! Enemy attack! Uh, here you go. <clears throat> We've been spotted. <sighs> All right. We're close enough now. 
Come on, both of you! Oh yeah! Fight time! Oh, here we go again, every time! Prepare yourself! <laughs> Zhang Liao, wasn't it? Nice to see you again. You... God damn What are you doing? I can handle him alone. You reckon? It's not in my nature to leave a friend in trouble, though. A friend? Yeah, friend. Everyone who fights on the same side should be friends. Everything's so simple for you. I kind of like that. Good. That ought to put them on the defensive for a while. We have avenged our loss at Hufei, and lived up to our part of the Alliance. It's all going pretty well, I'd say. Yes. You fought very well. <laughs> that wasn't half enough for me. <laughs> Come on. Let's go attack Hufei again, right now! Really? Do you ever just stop and listen to yourself? What? What I'm saying is we've done enough for now. Besides, what's the point in victory if you don't take time to celebrate it? Huh. Well... You make a good point. Okay, then I'll ask our lord for some of the best wine we have. Of course, you were planning on including me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then let's head back. My lord, is this the way things should be? The division of the land was intended to defeat Cao Cao, but now we plot with him to take Jing province. In truth, <laughs> there are no longer only two powers. There is a third. I fear that both Wei and ourselves are falling into the plans of Zhuge Liang. You might be right. Jing province is a key region, and the wedge they have driven into it is the god of war, Guan Yu himself. Yes. So long as he is in place, this chaos will never end. This will no doubt be seen as a betrayal, but we cannot allow a worthless alliance to suck us dry. But my lord, what about the princess? Our Lord has made his decision. For the future of Wu, we need worry only about the task that lies before us. Ha! Come! We must defeat the God of War and take Jing Province. Curse you! You would break the alliance between us? You would dare speak such words? Our lord, Master Lu Su, all of us wanted to believe in Liu Bei. You trample that desire right here in Jing province. 
My lord! All I did was to realize the vision of my sworn brother, Liu Bei. I am sure it was. And for the sake of Wu, we have defeated you! The courage, <coughs> intellect, and determination of Wu have overcome my honor. So be it. My brother, forgive me. I go on ahead of you. With this, the foundation of Wu shall become even stronger. <coughs> My lord, why did you push yourself so hard? I thought I should be the one to do the dirty work. I leave the rest in your capable hands. You must negotiate this new world of three powers. No, my lord. There's still so much I must learn from you. Guan Yu and the murder of Zhang Fei, I have kept on fighting. If I may now be with my brothers again, I wish for nothing else. <laughs> Shang Xiong. I won't let you kill him. Not even by your hand, brother. <sighs> you would level your weapon at your own flesh and blood? The land I seek to create does not lie beyond such sad carnage. <sighs> Liu Bei, what is this benevolence of which you speak? What land do you seek to create? <sighs> I wish to bring peace and happiness to the people. Ah. I see now, of course, that I had turned my back on those ideals. And yet you still hold them dear. Then Shu must surrender to Wu. In the land I seek to create, there will be a place for your benevolence. <laughs> this battle is a victory for Wu. Only way remains. We shall pit our metal against their path of conquest. The forces of Wei are on the move. Hmm. 
Yes, I see them. Sao P. He's calling us out to settle this. That is a castle built for war. Thick, tall, heavy walls. Traps and trickery surely await within. Hmm. The fighting will be even fiercer than at Hefei. The spies I sent to Shu Chang report that reinforcements from there have been dispatched here. So we must cut them off, as well as take the castle. Correct. We face a critical lack of numbers, too. Each man must act the worth of two, three, four others, if we are to have any hope of victory. Then we have no problem. Each of our officers is worth a thousand of the enemy. Comrades, you may consider this the final battle. Defeat the pillaging way, and take the land for Wu. Thanks, Tiger. I'll give you that. That name is well earned. I'm glad you think so. I am the heir of the Tigers. I shall rip you to pieces and seize this land. Hmm. Don't get ahead of yourself. You can have this castle and Hefei with it. But, this is only the beginning. What? <sighs> They've still got this many men? Retreat. What? Uh, yes, of course. If those are your orders. Continue your struggle and continue to count your wounded. If you still want me... Come, bold tiger. Fight me at the end of this chaos. <clears throat> Wei remains so very strong. Strong enough to just cast this whole castle aside. However, the tiger shall not falter. Not so long as his mighty intent burns true. We continue the fight. Continue until ambition and chaos lie defeated. Carried away? It's good to strike while the iron is hot, but we've taken our own losses too. That's not like you, my lord. I thought seizing the momentum was your specialty. Besides, we may never get another chance like this. A chance? I see. If we move the battle lines up from Buffet, we can bring Shochu under our command. That will give Jianye further protection, and at the same time, open the way to Shu Chong. Yes, Wei is also surely aware of this. If we pause for breath now, it will strengthen the defenses of Shochu. Is that so? 
Then there's only one thing left to do. Yes. We can't let Chuan shoulder everything. Come. Let our fags tear open a path for the young tiger. Yes, father. I'm with you. Ha! 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 Magnificent! Father! Brother! There you are. We were just finishing up. You broke through the enemy defenses? With no more men than this? I knew it. You should be the one leading Wu. I give everything back to you. <sighs> what are you talking about? It's only thanks to you that we've made it this far. But... But... Now, Wu is united under your grand ideals. All we can do... is support you. And help however we can. Brother, please. Father, can't you convince him? <laughs> I left everything to him, remember? I can't get involved again now. Uh, father... Like I said, it's all yours. Go and get them, Chuan! Hmm. Go forth, my son. A new era is waiting for you to seize it. Very well. You have entrusted Wu to me, and I will not let you down. I'm sorry. Could you try explaining that again? I'm not sure I follow what's going on. Huh. You're still keeping up the act, huh? Our Lord's wife has returned to Wu. She has betrayed our brother and plans on fighting us. The princess? No, never. It was in a letter from our strategist. We've been told to strike first. A letter from Juga Liang? No, there must be some mistake. My Lords, I'm afraid this is all part of a plot by a third party. Surely not. Who could it be? The enemy! The enemy is attacking! We're under attack too! What? So whose enemy are they? Both of ours, I fear. Oh, there you are. My apologies, my lord. I was told of the enemy's plot and rode hard to stop my sworn brothers. I'm impressed that you came yourself. Indeed. It is most like you. My lord, I appreciate the indelicate timing, but would it be possible to maintain our alliance a while longer? Yes. That sounds like a good idea. <clears throat> Their plans to divide us prove that we are a threat. If we further our collaboration, we shall place even greater pressure on Wei. <laughs> That's right! All we have done until now is take. From now on, 
We would like to do more to help. Yes. <laughs> what is it, my lady? I was just thinking how nice it would be if we could get along like this all the time. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> I told you we were right to lie in wait for you. My sons still have some growing up to do, as does my husband. One person is only capable of so much. And if we take care of this here, that's one less thing to worry about. Oh, you're such a smart little thing. Please do not forsake my imbecile son. Your son is not as hopeless as you say. I think, at least. <laughs> so polite. Come now, let's take care of this ourselves. Yes. <sighs> Imbeciles of Wu! How could I be outdone by such mediocrity? You'd leave a better impression if you fled without the howling. Shall we give pursuit? No. The reinforcements will be here soon. We should muster our forces here. Hmm? Excellent work, Lu Su. Oh. My lord. It is all thanks to their brave efforts. They have watched you, and learned, and are now ready to lead themselves. If that is how you want to look at it, then I have come this far by following in your footsteps, my lord. Ha! Huh. I am happy to hear that. Ambition lives on from one generation to the next. To rule it all. How many men have dared dream that dream amid this chaos? Nobles, heroes, villains. So many consumed whole by their own ambition and greed. Liu Bei did not suffer the same fate. Yes. All he wants is for everyone to live happy, peaceful lives. <laughs> is that right? What about Cao Cao, then? He is also more than just ambition and greed. He still stands before us, after all. And finally... Chuan? Where does your intent lie? Me? My brother, my father, my sister, and all my people have brought me here. I'm sure that all the support I have received will be reflected in the land I choose to shape. Sounds good. I know you can do it, brother. <laughs> Let's go. With this battle, the turmoil shall finally end.
Cao Cao. Will you join us and form an alliance of peace? Liu Bei, yourself, and me. I believe a land supported by the three of us could still work. Impossible. My path is one of conquest. My ideal is absolute power and control. If we join hands, the land will be unstable. There is no true peace there. You will not change your mind? You will not lend your strength to my cause? I am a man. I shall live and die walking my own path. Go, Tiger of Jiangdong. You are the victor in this war. Cao Cao, a man who also sought a land of peace, just in a different way for me. At the very least, I must remember his dream as I build a new world. Cao Cao. I don't know who put you up to this, but you were mad to think you could kill me. Ha! You pathetic worm! Only those who wield true strength can claim any stake in this land of chaos. Ah. Strength, you say? Then know this, it is with just such strength that one day, I shall strike you down. Think he's okay? It'll take more than what's in there to kill our lord. Oh! Ah, looks like it didn't go so well. You see, this is what happens. For now, we run till I have strength, until our time comes. I am Yuan Shao, the leader of this coalition. The reprehensible Dong Zhua has thrown the court into chaos. He must be extirpated. My allies, join me in this noble quest. The nobility. His name is his strength. I must break free of this and prove myself to the world. That settles it. Hmm? You are the one I must serve. Now I'm sure of it. Why me, though? Surely there are others more worthy. 
Who are these men? You said you wanted strength. I got us some help. These two looked like they'd be useful. <laughs> the time is ripe. The rest is up to you. You again. You won't escape this time. Die, insect! Look out! <laughs> <laughs> Run! I'll keep him busy! <laughs> <laughs> Stands fast before even Lubu. A brave warrior, indeed. You mangy dogs! Don't think for a moment this means you dethrone me! <laughs> No one wants a throne you've been sitting on. You fat pig! Stand your ground! Curse it! I wanted to finish him off myself! <sighs> Who are you? Whoever he is, he saved us back there. My thanks. Will you tell us your name? I've got no grand name to impress the likes of you. I just know that man is an evil tyrant, and that he brings only pain and grief. So I decided that I wanted to be a part of any battle against him. Huh. So you just joined in without telling anyone. That's pretty odd. Huh. Indeed. He could prove a very valuable man. Fighting, the fields and the people will starve. That's no good. So, you were fighting to protect these crops? But try as you might, you cannot win. Your fields will be trampled in the end. No matter how many times you fight. Huh? Oh, so... So... What should I do? Join our cause. Fight to end this chaos. And to make the land rich and fertile once more. If I fight with you, the war will end? Everyone will get fed? That's right. Come, join us. Hey, everyone! From now on, we fight with these guys. My thanks. You have saved me from certain death. Dude, this is strange. There aren't very many of them. Got you, you pathetic fools! Go! 
explosion! By now, Guyang Castle will have fallen to Master Lu Bu. You've got nowhere to run. Not that it matters, because I'm going to... Are you okay, cousin? I'm fine. If anything, this arrow has opened my eyes. Huh. Hurry! Lu Bu awaits at Pu Yang! does not have what it takes to quell the chaos. Gain the authority of the Emperor. Rally my forces. Create a new world. That is my path. And the path to ruling this land. They're coming from the front, too! Come. The road ahead must be kept safe. We ride straight to Shu Chang. <laughs> well, Master Cao Cao, I hope this banquet, a symbol of my unconditional surrender, is to your liking. <laughs> This will not do. We have run out of wine. I'll have more brought to you immediately. Please enjoy yourselves. This... this is what you wanted, right? It will do, I suppose. Well then, it's time for us to join the party. My lord! <laughs> As I expected, some contrived little ploy. My life is in your hands, Dian Wei. Leave it to me! now for your master? Or has your loyalty always been to yourself, to your talent for strategy? <laughs> that is quite the loaded question. 
the latter. I have lived my life for my talent, for my genius. I could have done more, but I have no regrets. Come, I'm ready. Do it. Very well then. Joshu, I ask that you use your talents in my service. Are you <laughs> serious? Without Dian Wei, I would have certainly been dead. It would be a shame to waste such intellect. <laughs> you fought most impressively, Dian Wei. You remind me of the legendary warriors of yore that I have read about. <laughs> you fought most impressively, Dian Wei. You remind me of the legendary warriors of yore that I have read about. <laughs> I've got to say, I'm feeling a bit lightheaded. Hey! Dian Wei! Sorry, my lord. It looks like I'm finished. Don't be ridiculous. I need you. I need your strength. Uh, I'm happy to hear you say that. Dian Wei! Good, good. Now wait and be ready to act on my command. Yes, sir. Fall in. Well, what do you make of him? Too soon to say. It takes more than trickery to capture a castle. Not to mention, his tricks killed Dian Wei. Do you really want a man like that working for you? Ah, my lord Cao Cao. We are about ready to get started. Strength is remarkable. <laughs> Cao Cao! No! Hmm? Don't oh. worry. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> so then, let me ask you both a question. What does strength mean to you? Ha! <laughs> That's easy. You need strength to fight, win, and take everything. Strength is the ability to make that what you believe in a reality. So Lu Bu was beheaded, and Zhang Liao joined our ranks. Our Lord Cao Cao seeks strength, does he not? I would have thought Lu Bu was the strongest warrior around. No matter how strong someone may be, if they cannot be trusted, they cannot be taken as allies. Ha <laughs> ha! I see. At least we don't have to worry about that with you anymore. I know you're all probably aware, but we're seriously outnumbered here. In other words, a frontal assault simply isn't an option. 
Spare us what we already know. Tell us your plan. Please, allow me. At the moment, the two crossings at Bai Ma and Yanjin are under the control of Yuan Chao's forces. We start by raiding these locations. If we succeed in taking them, then we will have our bridgehead. Okay. I'm sure the enemy aren't going to just let us take them, though. Quite right. Which is where our diversion comes in. Someone to catch their attention by coming at them head on. Hmm. 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 Oh, in that case, perhaps I may be so bold as to suggest myself for the role. Come to kill me, have you? I, who have been your friend since we were children. I, with the noble name of the Han. You, you should be beneath me. Say nothing more. I'll think you less of a man. A noble name and a powerful army. All that strength, and yet you strove to bring back a land that is now long past. What? What are you talking about? The very fact you do not understand is the reason you have lost. <clears throat> this is our final <clears throat> farewell. You <clears throat> shall be <clears throat> another step upon my path to total rule. <laughs> that was almost the perfect victory. <laughs> You've impressed me again, young master. <sighs> young master? It's okay. Sorry. I think I've been thinking a little too hard. Uh. Come. The power balance is about to shift dramatically. Let our strategies lift our lord to the summit. That marks the end, finally, of our battle with the Yuan family. Yuan Shao, your children clung most stubbornly to life. It's all over. <laughs> hey! Push yourself too hard, Woja. Someone! A horse! At once! My lord. What? Speak. When we return to camp, we must feast. <laughs> hmm. What's the matter? Something bothering you? I know Guan Yu is back with Liu Bei now. But I'm surprised Cao Ren is struggling against them. You make a good point. Not to mention that he's using the Eight Gates formation this time. Yet still he is pushed back. Even the Eight Gates formation has no effect. <laughs> then the reason is clear. They have found themselves a strategist too. Whoever he is, it looks like he's got our number. Liu Bei has a strategist? Destroying such a beautiful formation. Our foes are truly savages. Sorry I'm late. 
I need to do better, I know. So, how's it looking? <laughs> this should be an interesting battle. <laughs> you captured him. Knowing this would happen, didn't you? Perhaps. Let's just see what transpires, shall we? I want to see how Lord Saudsau evaluates him as a strategist. Shushu, isn't it? The strategy you deployed against the Eight Gates formation was quite something. Something of what, exactly? I failed to take a single stronghold of yours. Although, I did allow Lord Liu Bei to escape. Maybe that's enough. They'll take things from here. They'll do a better job of it than me, too. My role in things is complete. What remains of my life is yours. Huh. That's all the spirit you have? You might be intelligent, but I have no use for a man with so little ambition. <gasps> you might be intelligent, but I have no use for a man with so little ambition. So that is how I am seen. To the eyes of one who walks the path of the Conqueror. How insignificant I truly am. Yet... I still wished to use my mind to help bring an end to this age of chaos. Hmm. Your eyes are fixed on larger things, then. You wish to end this chaos, Shushu? Uh. You may fulfill that desire in my service. You would... use me? Yes, I would. You may use me also. Join me, Shushu. Very well. Please, start by removing these ropes. Now, I am reborn. I serve you, my lord, and shall do what I can to end this age of war. The wind is picking up. Father, do you believe this battle will end the war? It will. To bring a swift end to this conflict, that is the role of one who walks the path of the conqueror. Hmm. And for those who fail to understand, who flee, who resist, for them, rule was just a dream too large to grasp. My lord, the check of our vessels is complete. We now await the order.
to advance. Good. My lord, is this wind going to keep on blowing? Hmm. What of it, Shuchu? Hmm. Oh, it's nothing. Just something about it makes me feel uneasy. It's nothing. Just something about it makes me feel uneasy. Very perceptive of you. This wind will surely turn on us eventually. What do you mean? At this time of year, the wind on the river is said to change direction under certain conditions. A southeasterly. Then the wind would blow from their ships towards our own. Hmm. And so what if it does? Afraid they will start shooting fire arrows at us? That is exactly what they'll do. Intending to use fire, they are surely waiting for the very moment at which the winds change. Surely not. It is the role of the strategist to think of every possibility. You need not fear, however. I am sure that I will be able to turn this around on them. Think this is the end, South Town. Wait! You are getting away! No need to give chase the yeah. end way. This battle was the perfect embodiment of my ideals. I offer up my deepest respect to the bravery and acuity shown by each and every one of you. <laughs> now to our victory! Then, raise a cry! Fight me! Master Guan Yu. You would harm my lord, not while I'm here. That might have been my intention at another time. Today, however, my honor will not allow it. Hmm. Lord Cao Cao, Zhang Liao, until we meet again in battle. I have been defeated, utterly defeated. Yet, you still live. You are right. This chaos shall continue for a while yet. <laughs> this 
feeling almost akin to love. My child, how I have longed to see you. The feared and powerful Zhang Liao. Huh. This is where you meet your end. Master Li Dian, Master Yue Jin. I couldn't just sit around waiting for things to happen. Taking action suits me much better. Trying to be the hero again, huh? You make me sick. Oh, I didn't mean that. I know, I know. I'm nothing without you. No, that's not it. I have to change who I am. I have to learn to deal with what faces me. Living or dying, those results come later. And you've always understood that. And as for my uncle... Well... Let's leave that for the time being. Let's just win this battle together! Will of three generations of Wu cannot end here. My lord. Hey, they got away. Still, we injured the commander of the Wu forces and drove them off. That's quite a result. Well done, both of you. I must say, you fought quite impressively. <clears throat> this is what we can achieve when we combine our strength. That's right. So, it's in your best interest to take us along with you from now on. <sighs> Don't make me beg. Very well. We shall work together. And keep Hefei safe. Now you're playing right into their hands. But my father! You would sully his beautiful end. I cannot allow you to do such a thing. We have won. It's time to shore up our defenses. Father. 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 You need to grow stronger still and claim more victories. That is the sacred duty which he has entrusted to you. What's that? A coffin? That's just creepy. Kinda looks to me like he's going to surrender. He's only new after all. He joined us at Tong Gate. Wait, Master Pengdu. What are you doing with that coffin on your back? Naturally, I have no plans to die. 
This is proof of my resolve. A warrior must fulfill his duty with no fear of death. That is why I keep this reminder of death close to me. Your spirit is impressive. Men! Follow his lead. Only the brave and the defiant stand with us this day. The day we destroy the god of war, Guan Yu. We're late. What's happening with Thorn Castle? Master Cao Ren and Master Pong De are there. They should still be holding fast. But without our help, they won't last long. We need to hurry. Jing province must not fall into the hands of Shu. Warriors of Wei. Most impressive. I regret that my vow to my sworn brothers will go unfulfilled, but there is no shame in being defeated by you. Shaho Dun, say farewell to Lord Zhao Zhao for me. Hmm. Brother! I go on ahead of you. Finally, I can see a light beyond the chaos. <laughs> What's all this noise? Prepare yourself! What foolishness is this? Killing us will only worsen the chaos of the land. Can you not see that? Even so, we cannot accept your rule! So you wait until my father is away to say this? Hm. What bravery. I'm glad to see you're both safe. It's the same everywhere. We need to take out the one pulling the strings, or this will never end. Hmm. I was just starting to get bored of sitting around here. Maybe we can finally have some fun. Conqueror's retainers fight well. You bark at neither power <coughs> nor deception. You're the one behind this? Who are you? I am Zhuo Tzu. I have watched you all from the Mystic Realm and have determined that the future lies with Liu Bei. In other words, I am your enemy. No paradise lies at the end of the path of the conqueror. And you 
His retainers are nothing more than killers, seeking to wash away blood with more blood. Pathetic. He's just an old hermit with delusions of grandeur. Your tricks will not be enough to stop us. Hmm. You are unable to understand the folly of your path. Then I'm afraid I must bring even greater power to bear and defeat you myself. That lot. They used to just run wildly from us. Now they're arranged in a proper formation, like a real army. All of the remaining forces standing against Wei are now gathered under Liu Bei. They know this is their last chance. Still, I'd never have guessed Liu Bei would be the leader of the last pocket of resistance. All he ever seemed to do was run away. Well, we started out running away from Dong Zhuo, didn't we? Right, cousin? That certainly takes me back. Now, though, all the power in the land is divided between Liu Bei and myself. Either he or I will be victorious, become a true hero. It is time to see which will win. I will need you both to give everything you have. Of course. <sighs> Father, it is time. Yes. Liu Bei. Cao Cao. Of all the stars that shone in the chaos, you and I remain to the last. You must have something you wish to say. Tell me. Look after the people. That alone is the reason you face down this chaos. That alone is the desire that drove you to fight. Very well. I have heard your wish. With the fall of this final hero, now the Age of Chaos has come to an end. Raise a cry of victory. Let the whole world know that a new era is upon us. So, Juga Leong, you have fallen. Father, why do you sound so sad? We have lost perhaps the only man who is truly worthy of being pitted against my intellect. The battlefield shall now be such a boring place. What's wrong with that? Boring is easy. Sounds good to me. 
begin the pursuit. Zhao, keep your focus. I know, I know. Hands down. <sighs> all right, all right. <laughs> My lord. You must be upset at the loss of your rival. I wouldn't want you to lose your focus, either. Shall I go with you? Y yes Juga Leon, I shall honor your memory, at least, by utterly destroying Shu. Ambition. I will make it a reality. In the song, he speaks of ambition, but in reality, is controlled by mere emotions. No matter. Now that you are gone, Juga Leong, I am free to advance as I please. Sure. Zhao, what is the problem with the land at war? Order is disturbed. Peace is shattered. Chaos <sighs> fostered. And discord engendered. And it really is a pain in the neck. <sighs> Don't you think? Imbeciles are allowed to run free. That is the root of the problem. Those with talent are the ones who move history. That's the way it should be. Yet, those with no talent continue to stake their claim. It is an insult to the natural order of the land. Do you see, my sons? We must therefore hone our talents and mold this land into its rightful form. Can't you try to look the part a little more? Hmm? If people think you a fool, it will invite trouble. But you're the only one here. Besides, I really am a fool. <sighs> Fine, play the fool for now. But, soon enough, you will need to rule the land. Ugh. You don't change, do you? You think far too highly of me. Sooner... or later, my lord, I will make you see the truth. No matter what it takes. Revolt. There was once a man suited to ruling the land. His son, too, seemed worthy to follow in the path of the conqueror. But that is all in the past. They are no longer worthy of anything. We must use our talents to restore way to greatness. 
Aren't we getting a little carried away? I mean, it's how Shuang has to go, sure, but... Zhao, these things have to be thorough. In order for these fools to understand their place. Give it up. If you show them mercy, then you'll really have a mess on your hands. Come! We shall destroy these fools and return Wei to its true glory! Kill me? You're going to overthrow our lord? Cut me down? Take the army for yourself? Just calm down. You and I, we've always got on pretty well. I don't think that has to change. But... But Lord Cao Shuang! The simple fact is... He was an incompetent fool. You don't even see that, cowering in fear. Your father was strong and brave. Forget house and bloodline, that is how a man and an officer should be. If you are truly his son, then that is what you should have inherited from him his house, but his way of life. <sighs> I'm sorry, Father! I've shamed your legacy! And you all, I've caused you trouble too. My apologies. I promise, I shall repay you in battle. Good. Then let's go home. Oh, my lord. The harvest from my field has been so poor this year. A great shame. I'll cut your taxes. My lord. My daughter is to be married, yet she has nothing to wear on her wedding day. Ah, congratulations to you both. I'll arrange something for her. Fear not. Hey, are you ready? Hmm? We're about to start. This place will soon be a battlefield. Please, return to your village. Fear not. The fighting will not reach you. Not while I can help it. Oh, thank you! Thank you! Thank you so much! Giving heed to the people. Huh? How popular you are, my lord. Oh, come now. I wouldn't say popular. The happiness and safety of the people. Those are my only wishes. I walk the path of my clan, that of benevolence. How did this happen? All of my plans... How could they all fail? <sighs> no need to get so depressed about it. <sighs> we suffered losses, but we managed to escape. Isn't that enough? <sighs> how is that enough? 
I have shamed my family name and failed to protect the people of this land. It's your fault. This is all because of your selfishness. Me? Why do you not follow my orders? Why do you act only as you see fit? Wait. Indeed, I have been selfish. I didn't consider your plans enough. You have my humble apologies. <laughs> That man, sooner or later, he will be in the way. Curse way! Curse all of you! This insult shall be avenged! Upon my name as a Juga! Uh. <laughs> you are unworthy to speak that name! Jugadan, what specter are you looking at? What? What does blood mean? What do names mean? These things cannot hone your talent. A warrior lives by nothing but his own skills. The same goes for me. Those obsessed by their birth end up like that man. Hmm. Come, we're leaving. Obsessed by birth. Maybe I have been a prisoner. Rather than focusing on myself, I have been preoccupied with my name. Now, though, I am free from that curse. From this moment on, I shall hone my own talents and move forward. Once again, once again our great intent has been impeded. Chancellor, my apologies. <sighs> Thanks to all three of you. <laughs> You've been running about all over the place. I wouldn't say that. Listen to me very carefully. You carry the expectations of many on your shoulders. You cannot afford to worry about little details. Such trivial matters can be safely left to me. But Guo Huai, he really couldn't. <coughs> My lord. <coughs> My lord! Are you okay? I have always walked a fine line between life and death. I fear that the time has come to finally cross that line. <coughs> I'm so sorry. This... This is all my fault. It is as he said, my lord. You carry the lives of many on your shoulders. My life 
will be one burden you no longer have to bear. Stand against your fate and keep moving forward. <coughs> ah, if only I could have seen you. <coughs> I am Wen Yang, son of Wen Qi. Face me! The son far outclasses the father. We will give pursuit! Wait. Leave Wen Yang be for now. Tighten the noose around Wen Qi. Let us choke the light from this fool. My lord! Learn your place, imbecile. So, what shall we do with him? Uh, first, let's hear what he has to say. Execute him. Uh. Isn't that right, my lord? Now hold on just a minute. Take him away. My lord, those in power must make tough decisions. Cruel or severe though they may be. Visualize your goal, deliberate, and decide. The time for thinking things over at your leisure has come and gone. Give it up. Do you really think I have the time to waste on the likes of you? The arrogance! The tyranny of the Suma ends here! Tyranny? I see. So that's how you see it. Nonetheless. That is the path I must take, to test the will of the heavens. Okay, everyone's here. But what's going on? I thought it was under control. One battle is not enough. If there are any sparks left, they will soon flare up again. Uh, my lord. Mm -hmm. I don't want to alarm you, but... <sighs> Brother! Brother. <sighs> My lord. Wen Yang. Thank you for leading the vanguard. Those men. 
They are my father's. Ah. I see. I appreciate that it is asking a lot. But please, let me go and see my father. I need to confirm his intent. And see if he has any pride left as a warrior. Enough! You have stepped too far off the true path! Curse you! You would lecture your father! Have you no gratitude? Let go of me! No! Let me go! Farewell, father. When young... You saved me. I am grateful to all of you. Our triumphant destiny has been preserved by your actions. Brother, you're injured. I am fine. We have not finished yet. By our own hands, this land shall be righted. This just never seems to end. We have driven them off. That is all that matters for now. Zhao. Uh -huh. Everyone. <gasps> well done. We shall reform Wei under our ideals and seize control of the land itself. However, my own destiny. <laughs> Brother! Zhao. It now falls to you. Stop it! Don't say that! Jia Chong. Leave it to me. Until the end. I did only that which needed to be done. Jiao, you too. <laughs> this can't be happening, brother. <laughs> Qin, after you fled to Wu, I never thought I would see you again. <laughs> Had enough of wagging your tail for Suma Zhao, eh? <clears throat> huh. The Suma are our enemy. Let's just use each other and leave it at that. My lord, this is for you. This is from the Emperor? My path, it is clear. I shall stake everything I have on defeating Suma Chao and saving Wei. Jugadon has made contact with Wen Qin. 
And? The Emperor has also sent him a secret missive. Hmm. You're dismissed. My lord. <laughs> Our enemies are all together. That'll save us some time. Tell us! Have you found anything out? One imbecile instigating another. Nothing more than that. The Emperor cannot make this public. This has made things much easier. I see. And I know nothing. Bury him with respect. We can no longer abide the tyranny of the Summa. Which is why I must make a stand, and bring them their punishment! Brave warriors of Wei, fight alongside me! The Emperor is making his move. This is it. No doubt. This is all part of your plan. No, don't answer that. We have already slain the Emperor's men. There's no going back after that. We will fight the Emperor. If you think that disrespectful or treasonous, then you had best leave at once. Emperor or not, he is just another fool. I refuse to bow my head to one such as him. I do not consider what we are doing wrong at all. Like I said, I... Uh, just remember my promise to you. <laughs> I knew that's what you'd say. Okay, let's get started. One more time. Will you not surrender the throne, Your Highness? Silence! I would never give up my throne just to spare my life! My lord, leave this to me. <laughs> Don't make that face. I'm more suited to this type of thing. Your Highness, show some dignity. 
What? Had a change of heart? This is what you want from me, right? Yes. However, the dirty work is my job. Bring the castle under our control and keep this order to a minimum. Then, we shall see about a new emperor. As you command. <laughs> ah, Master Suma Zhao. Shahuba. <laughs> Come on now. Don't get all emotional. We each chose our paths. This is the natural result. You mean... you couldn't betray who you really feel you are? Yes. That's it. My lord. Stay back. Farewell, old friend. Yes. Farewell, my lord. Take him to Shu Chang to be executed. Secondary unit, led by Master Suma Jia, is reported to be making good progress. Once we pass through Jiang Ge, we will be able to reach the meeting point. Understood. Hmm? Is something the matter? What do you think of our Lord at the moment? If I may be so bold. I believe he is caught between that which others wish from him, and that which he wishes for himself. You're right. He is changing, too. For better, or for worse. Perhaps that is the struggle faced by those in power. If so, then it is up to us to win his other struggles for him. <laughs> Unification. Shu has been doing pretty well. We do get into scuffles every now and then, of course. I guess that's no good, though, is it? I'm sorry. I've become a real complainer. <laughs> yes, you have. My lord. It is time. I know. In order to end this interminable chaos, we must destroy one of the swirling vortexes that form it. Be aware of the magnitude of our task. My lord. Greetings, honorable invaders. Thank you for coming so far. However, as you can see, Shu is poor. Do you truly think you will find what you want here? Shu Emperor Liu Shan. There is indeed something that I want. Prepare yourself.
Everyone, lower your weapons. You too, please. Let us end this conflict. <sighs> hmm. I am tired. Here, today, I declare the surrender of Shu. My lord. You have made the correct decision. We accept your surrender. Show the Shu Emperor due respect. Battle is a victory for Wei! <laughs> What's all this noise about? My lord! Master Zhong Hui has rebelled! He is using the men back from Chengdu and is heading for this palace! Pathetic. Let my sons handle the tantrum of this bawling infant. <laughs> my lord. Wh what is it, my dear? I fear you have removed yourself too far. Our boys are off fighting. We are the only ones here in Luoyang. So surely... It falls to us to deal with these infidels. Am I correct? Yes. We have no choice. More imbeciles flailing mindlessly. I shall put them in their place. I am the Chosen One. This cannot be. How dare you? Once you've retired, you're supposed to just grow old and die. Having old and unwanted men like you hanging around is- Imbecile! You seem to have forgotten who dragged this old hermit out of retirement. <laughs> Fool. If you claim you are the Chosen One, then stop blaming others! Just what is the point of this rebellion? Your foolishness knows no limits! Honestly, I would have prepared properly and made sure that- My lord, I think that's quite enough. Huh? Uh, of course. What a waste of time! I shall leave your fate to my sons. <sighs> my brother... He doesn't know how to treat people. Getting us to take down Jian Ye while he's off attacking Chengdu? I'd expect no less from him. He knows exactly how to handle you. Huh? You only get serious once you are really pushed to your limits. What? Ugh. That's not fair. But it is true that we've never advanced on two fronts like this before. 
This is quite a bold move for our Lord. It makes me start to wonder. <sighs> you worry too much, you Angie. You could always throw a little of that my way. You only seem to worry about my brother. Th that isn't the case at all. Ahem. <clears throat> <laughs> it's almost time. Are you ready? When you are. <coughs> I've come so far. I bring news. Master Suma Zhao has successfully taken Jianye. Hmm. Good. The land is almost ours. It's amazing. You're incredible, my lord. What's happening? What's going on? <sighs> Shu forces have infiltrated the castle. Panic is spreading. They are resisting to the last. They have no hope. They struggle onward. If they stand against us, we must fight them. I am almost there. My destiny. Nothing can stand in our way. Comrades, we fight! Brother! Zhao, get everyone together. We are leaving at once. Uh, what? But you only just got here. No matter. Time is short. Why are you in such a hurry? <laughs> Don't tell me. Huh. You may look vacant, but you're smarter than most. Yes. The life that you have made long is almost at its end. But I will claim my destiny. Zhao, lend me your strength. Brother. Very well. All that I have is at your command. The land will soon be united as one underway. An age ruled by those with talent. This order will be created by me and by all of you here. We shall pioneer this new age, support it, and become its forefathers. A new land raised by our hand. I shall return as a specter to fight you! <laughs> Let me question your conviction, then. Why do you fight with such determination? Why do you think? To carry out the will of my fallen master and create a land of benevolence! Imbecile! Imbecile. That fool, Juga Leong, he failed to teach you the most important thing. While his intent was sound... Does the fight to realize a land of benevolence end with the land and its people worn down to nothing? If you truly believe in benevolence, then you must start by putting an end to this futile fighting. I... I... Does this mean we're finished? Yes. My destiny has been realized. 
Brother! <laughs>